said I'ma crush it. Call me. Hi, I'm Anthony Walker. I'm Batman, and your host of Unsung, our region's nonprofit online news magazine show. I'm on the 900 block of Liberty Avenue. Once known as the seedy red light district of Pittsburgh, the 900 block now houses the August Wilson Center, Brick Lodge, and the Tunzeum, as well as several pop-up ventures. Come on down and check it out for yourself. Unsung is pleased to celebrate with our beloved city in Dark Knight Rises, which was filmed in and around Pittsburgh. Who better to celebrate with than our friend and everything superhero expert, Joe Wos of the Tunzeum. And we will hear from Community Auto in our submission segment. But first, let's take a look at what's going on with our area nonprofits. Teen philanthropists are to be granted eight projects worth $25,000 each. The Heinz Endowment Summer Youth Philanthropy interns have issued requests for proposals in search of ideas to create more sustainable communities. From building restoration, to youth technology literacy, from bicycling, to food security. These young philanthropists are keen to catalyze real community change. Read about all eight RFP opportunities on the Heinz Endowments website at Heinz.org. Proposals are due Wednesday, August 1st, 2012. Every summer, North Hills Community Outreach collects new backpacks and school supplies and shares them with hundreds of local children in need. Donations are needed for all ages from preschool through college. Gift cards for school clothing are also appreciated. For a full list and tips on how you can do your own collection drive, please visit the address on the screen. Joe Woes is Pittsburgh's resident superhero and director of the Tunzeum, Pittsburgh's museum devoted to comic art. Unsung always enjoys having him on our program, and with the latest in Batman series set to open, who else would we turn to? Here's Joe to tell us all about Gotham Knights and other exciting happenings. Thanks, Chachi. This is Joe Woes, executive director of the Tunzeum, Pittsburgh's Museum of Cartoon Art, and we are celebrating Pittsburgh as Gotham. It's Pittsburgh in its greatest role, Gotham City. So we're celebrating in a lot of ways. Uh, we have a great exhibition of original cartoon art that features comic book art created by Pittsburgh artists uh, from the ba Batman franchise. So it's really unique. We also celebrate a lot of the Batman connections in film. Um, actors like Michael Keaton and Frank Gorshin, but there's a lot others you might not be aware of, but you have to attend the exhibit to see those. And then perhaps most exciting, Warner Brothers Studios has actually loaned us the screen-worn cowl, that's Batman's mask, as used in Dark Knight Rises, along with the Batarang and a few other surprises. Um, the mayor has loaned us some stuff too, so uh, you're going to have to see the exhibit to believe it. It's just remarkable. If you visit our last superhero exhibit, Superheroes, Icons, and Origins, it was a really broad retrospective uh, focused mostly on the many artists who have worked on a variety of superheroes, from Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, Spider-Man, all the greats. This is the first exhibit we've done that's focused on one superhero, Batman, and it goes ex beyond just exploring the artwork. Uh, it also explores the artists behind it with local connections, um, the actors who have portrayed roles in the films, uh, film props. So it's a bit broader exhibition, uh, but the real focus is on Pittsburgh. This is about how Pittsburgh became Gotham City, and it really does. Um, Chris Nolan uh, actually have his actual photos he took, um, or excuse me, that his team took of Pittsburgh before production. And he literally stood in a room looking at all these wonderful photos of Pittsburgh, and he made changes. You can actually see where he made changes with, you know, marker on the actual photograph to say, well, this is what I want it to look like. So you get also the, um, some of the uh, CG uh, artwork they did um, in Photoshop. They actually did some work to show what would it look like to have, you know, the Batmobile cruising down Pittsburgh Street. So you get to see this. This is... Uh, this is the artwork that really inspired uh, you know, a lot of the film shot. It's also a great tie-in for us to celebrate our annual fundraiser, Kablam! Uh, this year, we celebrate Gotham Knights, and our special guest is Pittsburgh's own Joker, Jimmy Crenn himself. So that's a great opportunity, and that's going to be on Saturday. So this great event, uh, you can get tickets at kablam.eventbrite.com. That is K-A-B-L-A-M. Dot eventbrite .com. We're celebrating the 30th anniversary of Care Bears with Care Bears 30 Years of Caring and Hugs. So it's a great exhibit. Uh, we've all got a lot of us have grown up with Care Bears. They're back again on the Hub Network. Um, so this is for three year olds. This is for 43 year olds. This is a fun exhibit. And yes, you may hug the bears. 
You can find out more at tunezium.org. Got a car sitting around? Ready to buy a new one? Your used car can mean a new beginning for a family. Community Auto tells you how in this PSA produced by Grove City College students. What was it to you? Was it a set of wheels to get you from point A to point B? A place to store all your stuff? Or was it a source of power? Control? Freedom? Now you know what to do with that old car sitting in your driveway. Donate to Community Auto and give a family in need a chance to have all of those things at a price they can afford. Join the Sprout Fund for an afternoon of gaming chat as two attendees of the Games for Change Festival present their findings over lunch. This Lunch and Learn will feature Nikki Nafta, President of Zulama, and Todd Kirschkin, Assistant Superintendent of Elizabeth Forward School District. They were granted Spark Conference stipends to attend the festival in June. They're coming together for lunch to present what they learned at the conference, especially what they found applicable to the Pittsburgh region. After a brief synopsis of the G4C Festival, Audience members will have the opportunity to engage with the attendees in an open discussion. Check it out Monday, July 23rd from noon to 1 p.m. at the Sprout Fund, 5423 Penn Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA, 15206. This event is free to attend, but registration is limited, so be sure to RSVP. Feel free to call 412-325-0646 with questions. Join in celebrating India's history with the 150th anniversary of the birth of Swami Vivekananda, who brought the true meaning of spiritualism to the Western world. It's Sunday, August 12th with the parade at noon, and flag hoisting 1 p.m. with cultural programs, food, and dancing to follow. Admission is free. Volunteers are needed for Lawrenceville Community Cleanup. Volunteers will work with Lawrenceville United to clean up vacant lots, pick up trash, paint over graffiti, and tend to various community gardens. The event is Saturday, July 21st, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Register at the address on your screen. Thanks for watching Unsung. Be sure to share it with your friends. You can check out our previous episodes and our Unsung Uncut series on pittsburghonvideo.org. I've been your host, Anthony Walker, reminding you to keep it awesome, Pittsburgh. We'll see you next time. I'm going to go check out some comics. So I said I'm going to crush it. Call me the golden boy because it shine whenever I touch it. Don't rush it. The flow comes naturally. Actually, the whole hood after me.